So I made a list of every single thing that's missing that I know of. <laughs> Hi sleep friend, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maylene Call from Mrs. Call's Campers. If you're new here, I'm going to be teaching first grade this year in Nevada. I moved from California. My husband's in the military, we're from Tennessee. So I've taught first grade, I've taught kindergarten, and I've taught first grade and I've taught kindergarten, which is what I actually taught last year in my combo class. So if you are new, I do have classroom setup videos from all of my previous years for you. And I do have weekly vlogs from all of my previous years for you. But today we are actually going to start setting up the classroom. Really, I just need to see what I have because the military moved us and we're missing like a quarter of our things and I, I know a lot is missing from my classroom and we've got meet the teacher next week. I am very very stressed so that's just kind of where I'm at um, but I'll give you an overview of the room and kind of do a little explaining. These are all my things that the movers have brought. Um, this is some stuff that the school ordered for me. These boxes. The shelves were already here. Those are like district shelves. I have these tables. I have no idea about the setup or the layout. Um, this is also some of my stuff back here. Again, it's not all of it. Um, I'm gonna be going through and kind of seeing what I have and I'm gonna try to put things in a general spot in the room. This is where my area is kind of set up. The desk isn't staying. I know this room looks really large on camera. I feel like everybody's room looks bigger on camera. This is actually the smallest room that I've ever had so piecing things together is going to be really interesting and different but yeah let's start seeing what I have also I just want to say I'm trying really 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 hard to be positive about this because I know things could always be worse and one of the really nice things I feel like is that because I am where I am because I'm at like this school in particular I am surrounded by such an awesome community of people I can't tell you how many people have reached out to me since I've been here people I work with that I haven't even met yet who've come and supported me and asked what they can do to help it just feels really good to know I'm in a spot where people are just genuinely nice and want to help so I'm sorry. Just the irony that I have the shelves of the bookshelves, but not the bookshelves. I have the pieces of the whiteboard, but I don't have the whiteboard. to get some of the big furniture pieces out of the way um, and doing so I've got my library a little mapped out what I'm trying to focus on now is this whole group area but it's hard because I need the rug <laughs> Maybe now though, you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about as far as like room size goes. Cause like the rug ends here and that, no, it still looks bigger on camera. Normally I have a lot more space over here to work with. So the table situation is gonna be the hard part. One of my friends, Caroline, posted about this neck fan, um, and this is on the low setting, can you hear? I immediately bought it. It was like same day delivery, and ever since then I've been thanking myself because it is really freaking hot. Okay, so what I'm trying to do now is organize um, the front of my room and try to figure out where the electronics are gonna go because I realized I can't get too far if I decide to have my computer somewhere and it has to be somewhere else because of plugs. I think this is where the HG Mind stuff has to go. I'm pretty good with technology and like 
moving things around, but I'm pretty sure there's nowhere else it can be plugged in. Normally when I teach, I like to be facing, huh, falling. I like to be facing this way on the board. So sitting like right here and then looking at the kids this way because I write with my right hand and that way I can be writing and like looking at them if I want to. Um, but because this classroom door is right here, that would mean that if I'm sitting here and like my little rolly whiteboard is here, you would walk directly in the door and you'd be, you'd have like a whiteboard in your face. So I have one of those, I'll put a picture here, just like a stand up whiteboard that I use for different things. So I think instead I'm gonna put it here. So if you walked in, we're at the door. If you walked in, you would see the whiteboard here, if that makes sense. So kind of flip flopped from what I'm used to, but because all the technology is right over there, I think that's what we're going to have to do. was me dragging, yeah, these boxes of bookshelves because that's where I want them to be. That's where I'm gonna put my book bins if I ever get them. <laughs> that's where those are gonna go. Um, and some other classroom type things. But I spent a lot of time talking to coworkers. So we're back in the room. This lighting is all over the place. Just about all of the furniture, the big stuff that I can move is out of the way over here. Um, I am gonna move this round table that I got from Facebook Marketplace, which by the way, I look on Facebook Marketplace for things or Goodwill, but this table is actually listed for $80. I'll show you. This was listed for $80 and I messaged him and I was like, hi, would you be willing to donate this to a teacher? And he was like, my mom was a kindergarten teacher. Yes, absolutely take it. So I'm gonna move that over here because I want this zone right here, front of the room, but over here, I want it to be my writing center because I like the centers that are closest to me. So library me and over here to be the quietest centers and writing should be a pretty quiet center so let's move the table i think this is a good option because another table wouldn't fit unless it was my coffee table that's like low to the ground but i kind of like that this table is here it's like a corner space and it's round i don't know it just works <laughs> it does look awkward for now but I think it's gonna be fine. Okay, so everything behind me, I have to unpack and see what is inside. That's it. I have some books. Random stemmins. It's all my back to school read alouds. <gasps> see, this was labeled stemmins. Yes. Library books? Okay. I can't lie, this is making me feel so much better. Okay, so everything is open. I've got a big box of fake plants. I'm not gonna open all that right now. Or I might once I clean up some of these other boxes. They put stupid things in the boxes. Like they put these in a singular box. I mean, just like random stuff. This might be my whole library. I'll have to go back and look at my classroom pack up videos to see how many crates I had of books. But these are my library books, which is good. I only have one bin of my read aloud books, but it's the beginning of the school year bin. I have a couple of random stem bins and then I have some file boxes, but that's good. Um, this stuff over here, these boxes, those are things the school ordered for me. So I really don't want to open them right now because it's like supply type things. And I just know if I open it, it's going to be just something I have to deal with. So I'm gonna leave those boxed up for now. I'll show you eventually what's in them. Okay, almost started tearing up for a second and I am sure, I'm not sure. I have faith, actually I don't. Never mind. I am really hoping that the military does find my stuff. I truly am, but 
I just open this. This baby, look. Here's the thing, a lot of people don't realize just how many hours teachers put into prepping and making things, especially outside of contract time. This bin, probably like 70 hours, I'm just gonna guess, worth of things that are prepped, which is wonderful. So some center stuff, some more center things. These are my iWords personal dictionaries. If you use sight words at your school, I would highly recommend, I'll put the link in the description box for you to check out iWords or request it from your school. If you use my discount code, I think it's MissCall10, you can save you or your school money. But I have the flashcards and I have these personal dictionaries that I keep in the writing center um, and they can go and grab them whenever they want. But it gives a phrase, a motion, and a visual, all sorts of other things to help with your sight word teaching. So after you teach your sight word, you map your sight word, you can use this to help reinforce it and it works really, really well. So I'll leave the link and my code in the description for you guys. But this is in here along with my baby. These are a little messy. These are all of my um, unit type things that I started prepping last year. I started to save things knowing that I was going to be teaching first grade this year. So um, things in April that we do, I have in these little plastic pouches. You can find these in my Amazon. Um, this is like St. Patrick's Day type stuff. This is our how-to writing posters. Um, how to make a pizza, and lemonade, all that stuff is together and it's prepped in here. And this is the stuff I was really, really scared that I didn't have. And I didn't think it was in this bin, but I'm so glad it is. Also, the units that I, not the units, the, the lessons that I have from Alicia, who is Primary Scouts on Instagram, Teachers Pay Teachers, all of the weekly read alouds that I do, I had prepped all that stuff, or my aide helped me prep it, um, and all that is in here. <sighs> of centers, math centers, lots of math stuff that I had prepped. So I'm actually gonna put these in my filing cabinet. So this top one is always for like colored paper, astrobytes, things like that. I like to file it. And then I'll have one for our memory books. Um, so the work I save, one drawer will be for that. And then one drawer will be for these resources. And I like having like workbooks in there if I need them or like snacks are good to pull, put in here. Obviously I'm not gonna put snacks in this one cause it's like in the writing center now. <laughs> and that would just, that would not be a good idea, but. So yeah, this is going to be like Astro Brights. Here's the materials that have taken forever to prep. So I have my read aloud things um, in here. And basically what this is, if you are new, is this is a book called Turkey Trouble and I totally just lost the spot. Anyways, this is the book. Inside I have just this little pouch and inside that I have these pieces. Um, and this actually is not a very good example. So these are the pieces that will go into centers. I don't know what that is. <laughs> These are the pieces that'll go into centers with my kids. So we'll read the book together and then this will be part of a little library center. This is like monthly resources. Like this is for boot camp back to school. Um, some more. This is writing. This is for writing. This is for writing. You can't really tell, but that's what it is. So again, that's my little writing center that I want to do over there. And then my tables are here. Over here, I'm just throwing stuff that I can't really deal with right now. I went ahead and bought folders. The yellow ones will be for their B binders. The green ones will be their poetry folders. And in this bin over here, I have black ones that I use for their center folders. So I already have those. And then this is just some decor stuff over here. So I bought um, bulletin board paper and I'm switching it up from last year I'm gonna do this like I don't know we'll see if I hate it I can always go back it's it'll be a surprise and then I have this box of fake plants that I do not want to deal with so they're gonna be there this is what the library currently looks like it's it's a mess but at least we have the books these books I don't know if I explained it to you these are all AR books um, apparently Vegas is a big AR district and we are a big AR school. So all the books that I have over here, 98% of them are not going to be books that they can really test on. So I'm probably just going to keep my library as is and then make a separate leveled library. Don't even get me started on that. That's a whole other thing. Um, because these are all the school's books and these are actually books that are on their level for 
AR. So that's what this will be, but they're not gonna stay on these shelves. Um, some of them will go in here. This is not my priority right now. Got a couple of random things over here. Again, supplies the school has for me. And then uh, this is some random things that I keep behind me as like in my teacher desk, but it's just random stuff. That's everything. That's kind of an overview of what we got done today. Oh yeah, also I made a list of every single thing that's missing that I know of. <laughs> Just take you a peek there. Give you one last little overview. This side kind of looks good, it's coming together. So that's it for day one setup. I will say I am leaving in a much better mood than I came here in, which is a good thing. Um, hopefully you are already following me on Instagram. You'll see all the updates before YouTube does because it basically happens in real time. I post teacher, I post lifestyle, everything is on my Instagram, specifically my Instagram stories. So make sure you're following me over there. Make sure you like this video if you had fun. Make sure you subscribe and join our family to see the rest of classroom setup and first grade vlogs. I am so excited for the things that I'm gonna be able to show you this year. So looking forward to it. There is still so much I have left to do in this room. We have not even touched the surface. I will see you guys in the next one.